Greetings, y'all. It is Matt from the Green Arcade. Back playing some more Farming Simulator 22. Good morning. We're back. We're putting soybeans in the ground. It's a good day to do soybeans. Doing soybeans and corn. I'm going to have to come back and fix some of these rows here. We finally started hiring a few workers uh, because we can afford to. So we've got this guy going here. I need to go check on my other guy up here. Yep, he ran out of uh, corn. So i got to go get some corn and probably go ahead and top him off on the fur too. But good morning, and let's bring old man in and say good morning to him. Good morning, old man. Good morning, Matt. We ready to farm? Ready to farm. All right, we're farming. Today's moving day. We're going to be moving we're, we're moving our, our, our headquarters, or our, um, I guess, what was our temporary homestead. We're, we're no longer considered hobos. We're considered farmers now. So, going to be moving, moving to a new farm. So, old man's up here at the uh, sawmill loading pallets right now we're going to try to make some money with uh, some stuff some products from the sawmills got this field all planted in corn it's ready uh let's take a look at the map here zoom out here so got these fields um planted this is the one we expanded got it planted got these uh done in soybeans there's a lot of fields and soybeans out here now that we could probably maybe pick up so a lot of fields. There's one. There's a lot down here, but then there's one up here by the new farm. Here's the new farm. So morning, Yulberry. How's it going? Um. So I got a question. Oh man, you might know the answer. I did. I planted that field. Hang on, field 117. I planted straight from the planter because you know that this planter doesn't require cultivation beforehand. So when I did it, it did a shallow cultivation of the field, right? Field 96 and 95, I did. I ran a deep cultivator before I planted it. Does that make a difference on yield? I, I don't think it does. I think mostly it has to do with your fertilization and all that makes the, the difference in the yield. Okay, the only difference that I could really find, and I went through the help menu to, to find out this information, is that it says that um, it says that with shallow cultivation, there's a difference in the weed process or something. So I don't know how true that is because I've we've been doing deep cultivating for a while before we plant, and we've always had weeds. So I don't know. Morning, Twitchy. It is a nice farming day. It's a nice farming day. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I'm going to get my in-game clock run up here. To match the real time. And we're going to go real time. There we are. I, well, you know, Yulberry, I thought it did. And that's what the help menu says it does. But we've done the deep cultivating, um... before and we still get weeds so i don't know maybe that's a glitch i don't know if they fixed that now because we, we we ran a deep cultivator before matter of fact we've got the same one that we uh, used before and it's a it is a deep cultivator it's not a shallow cultivator now i know we plowed beforehand with this too so that we could get the cultivator to run because a lot of that field, apparently, the like the new field that we bought, that we merged it with, was already in a cultivated state. So I kind of had to run a plow over it and then run the cultivator back over it. 
So I don't know. Maybe, I know the plow. It said the plow um, should prevent weeds. Let me go up to it here and save the game. So yeah, I went through the help menu here, and where did I go? Wasn't that one? Plowing, maybe? Yeah, okay. So, plowing is needed after you've harvested root crops like potatoes, corn, sugar beets. Plows can also create fields allowing you to blah, 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 blah. Using plow will prevent weeds from growing. So, we plowed that field, but I think once you plant it, I think once you get it out of the plowed state, so, like, you can plow it for, you know, the next time... But it has to stay in the plowed state. If you cultivate it or plant it, weeds can come can pop back up. It doesn't matter if you've plowed it or not. I think it has to stay in the plowed state. I mean, it's, it's probably just like letting the field sit, and if you plow it, the weeds won't grow. I should have got fur while I was right there. Why? We can get some fertilizer. Oop, I gotta buy some more. <laughs> Not that much. Let's do, I think, 2,000 probably. Yeah. Because we'll definitely be back over here. It's a good thing about having these little satellite farms is we can have refill stations at them. And I know I gotta buy more seed. I was pretty much out the last time. Yeah, 553. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 2000 again. Okay. And then this thing, you can't. It's funny because the, the liquid fert place you can fill up without having to open the things. The seed one will not work that way. So you gotta open the, the canisters there and then fill it up. So yeah, I thought deep cultivation uh, suppressed future weed growth, but apparently it doesn't. I've been watching the map to see where all they plant, what all they plant where. There's still a lot of fields that haven't been planted yet. So the planting season goes from April through May, I think. Unless they're holding on to these fields to put another round of, like weed or canola or something like that but i think one of these fields up here that and i'm kind of eyeballing field 17 it's got canola in it that would be a great hay field because it's right there by the it's right there by the the cows yeah that would be and it's not that big either mm -mm. and we can get that crop out of it we can harvest that crop when that time comes Good morning, welcome in, welcome in. It does get complicated. Yeah, that's that's probably what we'll do. We'll probably just deal with whatever pops up. I do want to use, we have a weeder. Um, I kind of want to catch, since these fields are small right now, uh, I'm looking, where's weeders? There they are. We do have uh, these weeders, a couple of John Deere ones. They're small, but since we have small fields, I think it makes sense to use these. We just got to catch the weeds in their first uh, stage of growth. So that one's uh, 4.6. They're both 4.6 meters, so they they both do the same thing. This is a kind of a rotary weeder, and this one's more of like a cultivating weeder. Did I pass my turn? I did. Yeah. Can I, let me just back it up. There's no room to turn around. The ditches are too deep. This ditch right here is really deep. That's a big ditch right there. And it is steep on both sides. Here. Get it back around here. There we go. That's what I get for shopping and 
I do that a lot. All right. Uh, so yeah, weeders. Those two. This one's more of like a um, cultivating weeder, I guess you'd say maybe. And this one's more like a rotary. Those little things spin, and I guess they probably kick it, kick up the dirt. Yep, weeds are just a part of life. It's 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 like uh, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. God, now I want a box of chocolates. Get me some of them Hershey's pots of gold. Actually, I do have a drink over here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And this one's in a can. So. 7 a.m. somewhere. This is actually the, uh, the cream soda zero sugar. not bad but I think I prefer the regular I bought these for the ladies at work I bought a case of them and took them up there and was like have you ever had the the dr. pepper cream soda and they're like no and I was like it tastes like a dr. pepper float like a vanilla float and um, they uh, you know the they a lot of them up there they try to like I guess they're watching their figure trying to maintain or keep their beach bodies so they said if you get it get the zeros so I bought a case of the zeros and they tried it and they didn't like them but yeah I don't know if maybe it's because they're zeros. I don't. I don't know. I offered to buy the regulars and let them try the regulars, and they were like, "No, we don't." You know, a lot of them, like I said, they're trying to maintain their their beach bodies, and a lot of them have beach bodies. I'll be honest, but uh, there's a few of them that don't. But even they didn't like the 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 cream soda. They like the strawberry ones, like the zero strawberry ones. They don't like the. I don't like the uh, the cream soda. I love the cream soda. It tastes like a Dr. Pepper float to me. The only thing with the zeros is that they have aspartame in them, and that's not that's not good in large quantities. I was gonna say that's not good for you, though. Yeah. So I think I'll just stick to the regulars if I buy them. I don't. I haven't been. I haven't been drinking them. Um, mainly what I drink is the crushed orange soda, and I have one of those here too. Um, uh, it does not have caffeine in it. And then, I, I'll tell you, I just drink mainly a lot of water, a lot of bottled water, so. And then, you know, I have, I've, I've got Gatorade in there too. I've, I do have Gatorade. And I don't, I don't drink a ton of that. I might drink one Gatorade a day. Or every other day. Really, normally what I do, I take a Gatorade to work with me, because you know we get to we get to running at work, get to sweating from running so much and doing, and you know you get to the point where water just does not does not do it. You need something with electrolytes and stuff, so. All right, so we got this guy going, and this guy is still going. I'm gonna have a few little spots to probably go and touch up here, but this is going in as soybeans here. I've decided, and you might be able to see this better now. Oh man, this highway right here that runs east and west in front of the sugar beet piler. Yes. Over there, it runs east and west this way. Everything south of this highway, the fields that we own go into soybeans. Anything north of this highway, the fields that we own, which, you know, the fields that we own up here are kind of smaller. This is all trees still right now. Still, that's going to, this is not going to be an overnight thing. I've, I've discovered uh, this is going to take a while to make, to 
clear that out. So we, we're good on trees for right now. But everything north of here, uh, we're going to corn. Uh, with the exception of maybe this field, if we pick it up, it'll go into hay. So, oh god, he's in the ditch. <laughs> he's doing good though. He, you know, he this little guy, this little white tractor, it gets out of the ditches better than the other tractors, and they're like four-wheel drive tractors. So, I guess because he's smaller. That's probably one of my favorite tractors right now. Yeah, it's a nice tractor. This one and this one has a lot of options. You can put the GPS globe on it. Um, it actually says stolen case mirrors and I went in and I put I stole some case mirrors and put on this tractor it had some little round ones that you could put on it but I think the case mirrors do a lot better on it um, and you can do the uh, what do you call these tires in the front I don't know what you got. It's like the two-wheel drive tra tires in the front. But you can do those or you can do the the bigger tires. But the bigger tires kind of look funny. Let's go look at that tractor. Is that under medium? I think it's under medium. It's a lot of tractors. Yep, there it is. So, yeah, here's your options. Uh, went ahead and did 170 horsepower. Did Michelin tires. And there's, the, there's those other tires you can put on the front. But it makes it look a little weird to me kind of I don't know off but yeah you can do that yeah I think I put the maybe those aren't Michelin tires on there oh no wait there they are so that's there's two Michelin categories is what it is so you have the I guess the four-wheel drive and the two-wheel drive tires so and then you can do the the back tires options we did all duels in the back so you can do wider tires if you want. Uh, but yeah, different cab configurations. Uh, you can put the globe on. You can change the pipes up. You can put a front loader on this. You can do the weights. I think I put weights on it. Um, you can do GPS. Where is the thing with the mirrors? Did I miss that? Okay, yeah, here you go. So it's all built into one. So you just have to find the right one. So you can do it with just a light without a globe. You can do it with a light with a globe. Uh, there's monitors that go in the cab. Um, where are the mirrors at? There they are. So there's like one mirror that can go across the thing. Truck mirrors, which are the round mirrors. Uh, truck mirrors in the different pipe configuration. There they are. Stolen case IH mirrors. <laughs> I love it. So basically you just borrow some case IH mirrors and slap on it. It's awesome. A lot of configurations you can do with this. Nice little tractor too. And it goes up to 170 horsepower so pretty good little tractor. Do you own the fields on either side of your cornfield? Which cornfield? Hang on, where are you talking about, Twitchy? Where I was just at? Where was I at? Wait, where is my guy? Oh, he's still over there. Do you own the fields on either side of your cornfield? You mean here where I'm at right now? No, we don't own any of these. These are these are way too big, too expensive for us. We're going to have to have some bigger equipment and, well, money to, to pick those up. Um, yeah, we don't own... Here's basically what we own. I'm going to go to this. So these are the soybean fields that we picked up down here last season, and then we extended this one. Uh, this is the one that that white tractor is in right now. We bought this area. This was all woods over here. We cleared the trees out. And then this was a field. We got that. And then we merged all that together. Uh, we bought 118. It's a little bitty field over there. We got 52. 52 has got those trees in the middle of it. I've got to go get those out before we can do anything really with that. Uh, and then the corn fields over here. 130. I think 130 is probably our biggest corn field that we have right now. 72 which he's planting right now and then there's a small couple fields over here that I got too 
So, and then we did buy 73, but I kind of, it's kind of so small that it's like, eh. I think, I'm, I think I've got a plan for that, though. I've got an idea of something to do with that later on. I'm not driving another farmer's crops. That's the hard worker, so I, I, I can't, you know, really blame them. Yeah, I, this is a hired worker right now. Can't blame them. You can all, only people you can blame is the the company that trained the hired workers, and that would be giants. It would be nice if the hired workers could be programmed to do in rows. And I think you know, I think they're I think they're working on something. I think they're trying to develop uh, new programming for the AI. Bro, I think you're done. I don't think you need to go any further. Alright, so we got that field done. I think we're done planting corn now. So I'm going to switch this over to soybeans. I'm going to go hit 118 while that white tractor finishes that other. Fire them? Yeah. Well, I mean, they all come from the same academy. They come from Giants Academy of Farming. So, uh, they're they're all gonna do it, and you know, most of these like little fields like this with these planters, it would take forever to do it ourselves. So, and we got we got other stuff to do. We got we got to move today. We got to move today. Um, let's see. We got to let's see. We finished planting. We got to move today. We got to load pallets at the sawmill, and I think old man's doing that. Um, finish planting the soybeans. Uh, we gotta call somebody for our paranormal activities. Uh, I'm trying to think, what else did we have to do today? Fire giants too. Well, if we fire giants, then that's that's the ball game, Twitchy. I don't think <laughs> that's the whole ball game. I don't think that'll work. I mean, I guess we could play Super Mario Brothers on stream. Old man can't. I don't know. That is it. I don't. I don't think that's multiplayer. I don't. Can always try Minecraft. Yeah, we could always try Minecraft. I don't even know if that server's still up. Is it? I don't know. Man, we got the clearing stuff out over there, and then. I got creeped, and then I haven't been back since. Honestly, I would like to play Minecraft without the monsters. I think that would be more fun. The monsters, you know, I mean, it's... I know it's, yeah, it's a part of the game, you know, but you can turn the monsters off. You can turn the mobs off, and then you could be like, okay, then it's like... You're, like, simulating more realistically, I guess per se, but, I mean, you could go in the mines without worry to, you know, having to worry about getting blown up by a creeper or shot by a skeleton or eaten by a giant spider or, you know, all of that stuff. You gotta still gotta watch out for lava and stuff like that, but, I mean, if you're careful, you know, then you're just like a traditional miner. You're going down there looking for diamonds and gold and all kinds of stuff, and then you can build your, your homestead and your farm up on top. The only thing with Minecraft is you cannot use controller. That's the only downside. And that will be my downfall. Yeah, that's that's the only thing. I remember playing Minecraft on the console. You, you, you know, that's always controller, but that was, gosh, that was way back in the day. I'm going to do a few in rows here because of the power lines. See, look. He doesn't even like the in rows. I think the, the power poles, he feels like they're too close. So let me do a few manual in rows here. He 
Even though they're not in the field, he still feels like they're too close, like he's going to hit them. Mm -hmm. Now, maybe. Yeah, see, he's fine now. I think maybe about four in rows is maybe enough. Nope. What's he doing? He fired himself right here. Oh, you know why? Because he's seeing this end as an in row, too. He's seeing this end as like, okay, there's the road. I can't go any further. Because, you know, I told you, these smaller equipment, they need more room to turn around. That's yeah, what it is. Go. I guess I'm just going to do it manually. Well, if that's the case, let me go down here. Let me hire him out this way and see how he does. I know that pole over there, he'll have problems, but here he should be okay. Let me go check on the white guy. That sounds wrong. <laughs> the white tractor. <laughs> Yeah, he's doing okay. I'm going to come back and do an in row. See, so I do have some straw bales in here. I put some straw bales. There's like four, five, six, seven bales maybe. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, six bales. So I got some straw bales in here. So we're good to go there. This is the Massey that we picked up. This is just the end game 3670. And then the Deutz from Farming Simulator 15. All you veteran farm sim players should recognize this tractor. Yeah, he's doing okay on that one. How are things at the sawmill? Uh, we need to go sell. We need to go sell? Yeah, pre-fob walls are like $9,000 a piece. Oh, really? Well, let's load this trailer up too then, because we got some more over here. You grab whatever you want, and I'll grab whatever's left to help you load. Ew, I hope our ramps will go up on this one. <laughs> uh, let's see I'm how. hoping. Cause man, that's a beautiful load. Yep. Uh, where's that other truck at? Where did I leave that at? Is it over there? Yep, left it over here where our current logging operation is. Been taking out, uh, took down the pine trees and been taking out a lot of the oaks and carrying them over. Putting them in there. Ditches are real. Should I turn traffic back on? Can you turn traffic back on? I mean, should I? No. No? <laughs> yeah, because we need to buy this sawmill today so that we can have parking space for our equipment. Alright, so I'm going to leave the ramps up on this one. Uh, connect to that and see if you can fold your ramps up. Let's see what happens. Everything's strapped down, right? Yeah, everything's strapped. Alright, see if you can put your ramps up. You know what? I think they fold back here. Okay, yeah, they sh Well, yeah, okay, it's good. It fell just short of it, so we're good. Good to go there. Alright, let me shut this off. And we'll start loading this. What do you want? you want the John Deere Bobcat Skid Steer thing, or do you want the... Well, tell him. Oh, it doesn't matter. All right. Which one? I don't. I've never driven the, the other one. 
To get the uh, prefab walls up here, we're going to need to take truck off. Really? Are you mean yeah. just lower the ramps? No, I mean the way I have it on the other side. Oh, the no. Other put, put, put the ramps down. Put the ramps down. I'll show you a trick. Where's this? Uh, where's this? Let me get the John Deere. <laughs> You're going to love this. Show you how we do it in the deep south. <laughs> Those out a little bit. Whoop. This should be interesting. It does work. Okay. Kind of looking at this thing holding this big prefab wall, it reminds me of like a toddler running around with a toy that's too big for him. <laughs> All right, you ready for this? Watch this, watch this. It does work. So then what I'll do, I'll set this down right here and I'll go grab another one and then we'll slide them back. I can kind of slide it back right now a little bit. Just like that. Wee-haw! If it's done in the deep south, it must be the right way. <laughs> you can tell it's very framey around the sawmill with all the production going on. I'm thinking we can get rid of some of this stuff in these two with that hot objects mod. And when we buy that sawmill over there, we're definitely going to do it. But I think we can do it around these two. So we might clean up around them a little bit. It does give it character, but I'm more about logistics and production, getting stuff done, having things nice and tidy. Alright. Whoop, nope. I, I did that wrong. That was me. That was all me. I didn't bring my forks down. There we go. We'll get these walls. Yep, you can feel the frames over here. <laughs> I wonder where they're at, just out of curiosity. Uh, 22 over here. Ooh, ooh, 22. For those of you that watch Puma Plow, you'll, and have watched Puma Plow for a while, y'all know what that means. 22. Ooh, ooh. Twenty two, twenty three, yep, it's uh and then it kicks up to forty out here, so but you know other places on the map away from this is like still sixty frames, so Yeehaw. What are the beams and longboards at? What price are they at? Uh, plank long is 3500 Is that good prices or no? It's going down. Wood beams are 5000 going down. What's their, like, top price? Uh, top price is 5,333 for beams. And then mm -hmm. top price for the planks long or 3,538. Okay. And prefab walls are 9,131. 
and they're actually 9,133. So we definitely need to take the uh, the walls in. Uh, actually, that's not too bad on the uh, the planks, the long ones. Where are beams at? Are they further down? Yeah, they're further down. There we go, right there. Uh, 52, 30, 53. So they're kind of in between. Maybe we hold off on them. Of course, I don't know. That's not a huge... Like, when you look at the price, like the low price is 51, 80. And the top is 53, 33. So, I mean, that's just a couple hundred bucks. It's not, it's not that big of a... It's not that big of a difference, so we could probably just go ahead and just sell everything. The minimums and the maximums on these sawmill products is not that significant. Now, something like soybeans, where it might be eleven hundred dollars versus twenty-two hundred dollars, that's a that's a pretty that's a thousand dollar difference. So we'll wait till summer to sell our soybeans. Of course, it's getting close. It's April now. this forward forward Oop. we got any more walls anywhere no that's all the walls okay so what are we loading long planks yes long planks all right can't wait to get my PC so I can play this again and get a ton of mods yeah Stay tuned. Don't you don't want to leave because we got something that's a PC exclusive. Gonna show that off later. Whoop! You know what? I should have done. I should have just gone straight ahead and gone forward further with this. Oh, I could have picked up both of them like that. See, so are these the ones we can go three wide? Yeah, they're the ones that we can go three wide with. Okay. I believe we can go the beams three wide too. Okay. Yeah, let me push those forward a little. It's a great thing about this little guy, you can there are some JCB skid steers. I guess I need to go download those out of the mod hub. Get some of those too. Okay, okay, whoa. Okay, whoa. Come on, go wake up. I need to do like that. Yeah. Now they're sliding. There we go. Alright. These frames, they uh, they hurt around this sawmill. have a good trip there in the Texas when we watch um, John stream later we got to get him to say Texas and Hagenstad because he has some special ways that he says them okay I, I can't do it Uh, 
Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put these on the back. Whoa. Did I hit them? Crap, I did. Hang on. I wasn't watching this side. I fixed it. Hang on. Go back. Go back. There. I guess I hit these up here too. You go back. Go back. Here we go. Alright. You put those on and then I'll strap her down real quick. See if there's some more somewhere. Is there any more over here? Nope. Nope. I think you got the last little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take some beams. I only have three be uh, pallets of beams over here. We can fit them right on the side here. And even stack them. Well, tell you what, let me move, tell you what, let me move these over here and stack them up. And I'll put them further towards the truck. So, let's see, let me lift that up. Put that on there. Well, I didn't think this through. Let me go with the other side. <laughs> Mine won't reach as far as yours will. This on top of this, and then I'll move these over there. Ooh. Okay. This side, that side. I'm gonna do this very carefully. My forks must be hitting the other stacks. Hang on. Do it. Nope, nope, nope. Let me just go over there. I'm just going to push those back over a little bit. Stand by. Stand by. Okay. Strap them down. Alright, then we can put those beams back on the back side here. How many you got there? Uh, got one more over there. Okay. I'm gonna go grab some of these over here. There is money in this, guys. There's there's a lot of money, and if you can get you some sawmills up, and you got and you you know, 
you like doing the trees and stuff these uh this is part of the platinum expansion pack they put these sawmills in so you can put these sawmills in on any map and you can turn the lights on if you want to work at night it's really nice I, i'm really happy with them so you can do all of the platinum extent expansion sawmill stuff on like elm creek and hot baler on and erlingrod if you want to yeah see these are heavier I think we can go three wide with these, right? Yeah. I'll just let you put that one on top, old man. Put these down here. Okay. I can get my fork out from under there now. Whoop. Okay. And then we'll put one on each side and then we'll be ready to go. Yeah, uh, who was it? Was it Salutes modding, I think, is working on a case skid, skid steer that's about this size. So as soon as he gets done with that, we'll, uh, we'll probably pick that one up. Make sure when you get up here, you put your forks under that one there. So that we can kind of scoot them in there. There we go. Okay. And I'll stay right here just in case it wants to come this way. Be like a safety. We're all holding our breath. Good, now just tap that top one in. Tap that, hey, tap that top one in first. It's kind of hanging out there. Just go above where you lift it, yeah. And then just kind of tap it in there a little bit. Go go down a little bit, down a little bit. About midways, yeah, there you go. And then just kind of tap her in there. There you go, now we can put a strap on. All right, you pick a truck, I'll pick a truck, and we'll go sell some stuff. So we got two trucks. We got the uh, Pinnacle and what's the other one called? I cannot remember the name of it. Superliner. So we got a Pinnacle and a Superliner. Alright, you going with that one? I'll take this one. Ramps up. I'm going to follow you because I don't know where we're going. Alright, cue the Jerry Reed. Eastbound and down. Loaded up and trucking. We're gonna do what they say can't be done. We got a long way to go. And a short time to get there. We're eastbound, just watch these wood pellets run. I need to make the horns louder. I started watching that movie the other day and I never did uh, watch it all the way through. Which one is that? Smoking the Bandit. Oh, okay. I got to the point where they had just gotten to Texarkana and then I had to stop it. Watching Smokey and the Bandit makes me want to go get like some barbecue sandwiches and uh just play that old country music you know like Jerry Reed and 
uh, George Jones and Patsy Klein and all that old stuff, Hank Williams Sr. and Makes me want to drive really fast too. Probably not a good thing. It's sad to think that the only person left from smoking the bandit alive is Sally Fields. Burt Reynolds has passed. Jerry Reed's passed. Jackie Gleason's passed. Apparently the guy that played Junior, I can't remember his name right now, but apparently he's passed. He just passed recently, like within the past few years, I think. Like maybe even last year, I think it was like 2021 or something like that. We got lumber for sale. Oh, I need to test out that Hide Objects mod too down here at the uh, farmer's market where we're going. Because there's a car that's in the way of the, um, you know, the hired tippers when you have them go from the field and sell or, or you know, store it or whatever. Yeah. There's a car in the way on the corners there, so I need to see if we can get rid of that car. I'll test it out before I actually do it, though. I tested everything out at the sawmill, and that everything works fine up there. So, we should be good to go once we can get that production. We might be able to sell soybeans this stream, too. Oh, that'd be good. Now that we've got the, the, I think we've just about got the planting done. I gotta go check on that white tractor over there. Alright, we're gonna make a right turn. Right here. Yeah, these cars on the corner parking spots there, they kind of catch the, the hired workers, so... All right, you see the one that's not the great. We just drive over yeah. that, drive over that kind of steady paced, and it should sell them all. Okay. Oh wow, 110 grand. I'll take it. Yeah, just keep a steady pace over it. Another 110 grand. We got $276,000 on oh, me. Told you that was going to be some money. Mm hmm. There's money in them there woods. Like they say, wood doesn't grow on trees. have some wood chips too but I don't think that's the time to sell them is it April? it's not that yeah is, winter's is. the best time to sell them and I'll tell you the amount that we get off of that is not a lot oh really we sold them I think we sold them back in February which it was still a, a decent price back then and we I think we made just a little over 10 grand for one truckload so the pallets is where it's at I tell you, the real money is in sugar beets. Because the price of sugar beets here, you know, normally the price of sugar beets is like somewhere in the mid $300 range. Uh, on here, they're in the mid $600 range. So, if we can get into the sugar beet business, that's where we'll really make some money. But again, it's sugar beets, so, you know, it's one of those things and you know I've been thinking about you know storing sugar beets how do they store sugar beets I watched some videos on this and apparently that's what they do they pile them on the sides of the fields and they use that that Terra Doss thing that picks them up off the fields and puts them in the truck when they're ready to sell them so I guess they just leave them on the sides of the fields piled up 
I'm surprised they don't rot. But according to the videos I watched, you know, they leave them there for like like 150 days. So I I don't know how that works. Oh yeah, I got to do some touch-up work down here too. So I guess we'll just store them on the sides of the fields, maybe. Well, that's we use some of these sheds when we buy the farms. Yeah, just store them in the shed. Yeah. Might be harder to get out though. Probably we probably have to use a wheel loader to scoop them out then. But that's uh, I mean, Yulberry says that says they use the field clamps is what they call them. And they just store them on the sides of the fields and then they uh, use those things and scoop them up. So. Is that is that maybe what the is that maybe what that piler's for down there to store the sugar beets? Can you do that? Cuz you can buy those, I think. The one down there by the production? Yeah. Is that what that's for? Uh I think they're just selling points. Are they? No, oh, those are production points. These are production points, yeah. You can buy these for $15,000. Says it's a sugar beet piler. But I wonder, is this does this just store your sugar beets or does it actually like do something with them? Well, here's a... Uh... Okay, this is the dump point. And here's a fill point. Maybe this is where you store your sugar beets. Can you store your sugar beets here? I bet you can. I bet it because it's okay. a, it's where they pile them up. Well, if you go to uh, sugar beets on your um, price, where you find out the prices, mm -hmm. it says uh, sugar beet piler. Uh, 306, 220, uh, 288, 292, and 289. Yeah, before you buy them. Yeah, so they're sell points now, but when you buy them, I, yeah, I wonder if you... Does it, do they become... That's what I'm saying. When you buy them, since they are production points, what happens when you buy them? Are they just like storage points, or are they... Do they make something? Sounds like a science project coming on. I wonder if, uh, let's go under production here. Okay. So, oh man, look at this. When you go under production, there is a sugar beet piler. The input is sugar beets, and the output looks like sugar beets, and what is that? I don't know what that is. It's something brown. <laughs> Hang on, let me uh Where is that at? Let's go back under here. See, something brown. Not raisins. Not manure. I wonder if it piles up like the piles here. I don't see something brown. Not not that look like that symbol. I'm pretty sure it's not manure pellets. It's not bark mulch. It no, it wouldn't be bark mulch. I think we're getting back into the. It's definitely not chocolate. No, it's not wood chips. Not off of sugar beets. I don't know what that symbol is, but it's not on the list. Usually every symbol that's in there is on this list, but that's not on the list. Unless I'm just missing it. Mm. It's not manure. That wouldn't be manure pellets. I 
I don't know what that is. It had info. Um, I can't click on that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do anything. I don't know what that symbol is. Maybe it's some, maybe it's some kind of compost or something. But you would think if it output that too that it would be on that list. So you could go and take it and sell it somewhere or something. I bet these I bet these act as silos though. Like sugar beet piler silos. Hey, you can see my guy. Whoop. Yep, there's my guy. That's what I look like, guys. In real life. See, one's shorter than the other one. I don't know. I don't know what the... I don't... I, I guess we'll just have to experiment and find out. These only cost 15 grand, but we don't have any sugar beets right now, so we might save this for another day. Alright, moving day. Let's go move. Actually, let me, let me touch these fields up and get this done. Got a few little spots to fix down here. I bet those are silos, though. Good morning. Welcome in. Yep, good so far. Guess I could go back and maybe see on when he first released the. I think there were pilers on the first Frankenmuth map. I could probably go back and see what the description is of them. Okay, so this John Deere wagon. Mm hmm. With a broken axle. It has a broken axle? Yeah. Really? When you start to move it, it. it swings and I meant to tell you that the other day where are you at over here in John Deere is it the back one yeah it's the back one. Oh man we did break that axle didn't we very well it's working now Maybe it's just me. Hold on. You drive it. <laughs> Might have been the way it was parked too or something. Maybe it just it was stuck. I don't know. We probably shouldn't have it hooked up to that. We probably should like hook it up to just by itself when we do it. wonder if it's... There it goes. Did it do it? All right. Hop, yeah. hop out of there. I'm going to tap up there. What are you doing to do that? Slow down, turn. Turn around every now and then I get a little bit learning. 
Sorry, I gotta drive in the field for a second, guys. Turn her. Oh, there's old man. Every now and then I get a little bit turn, turn, turn around very sharply. Say it's working for you. Let me go left. Everybody on stream's getting dizzy. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't. You do it and let me watch you turn sharp. We'll just go with it. You're disproving your theory here, old man. <laughs> I know. Keep keep going straight. I'm gonna watch it. I don't know. We'll we'll use it as its own thing in the future. Did it do it again as soon as I yeah, went away? As soon as you went away. <laughs> Where are you at? I see how it's turned, so I believe you. I'll oh, just drag it up there and we'll <laughs> just drag it up there and we'll uh we'll we'll look at that later. <laughs> I noticed that when we were doing that soybean field, it was taking it right to the cell point. Uh huh. It was doing it then. See, it hasn't done that to me at all, so it may be a multiplayer thing. I just have to get rid of it. Find something else. There is another John Deere auger wagon, but I think it had an issue where it wasn't acting like an auger wagon, it was acting more like a tipper. This field should be done after I finish this little bit here. Yep, looks like it looks pretty good. It kind of looks serrated down there, but I looked at the field and it looks fine. So I don't know. I don't know what that's about. Okay, done with the planting. All the planting should be done. I need to go fix the case area over here now. Because he, uh, apparently he didn't like this area over here either. Eventually, once we buy these neighboring fields, we can merge these together and just turn them into big fields. So... See, he doesn't like he doesn't like that edge there. So I'm just gonna manually do this. Be right back. Okay. Mamas don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. I don't know all the words. What a shocker. I know. We 
Oop, yep, see, I can't just raise it and lower it, raise it and lower it, because I missed some. Just gotta go all the way through it. Alright, one more spot. It's funny, you know, that song, you know, Mamas Don't Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys. Normally at work, I'm singing, Should have been a cowboy. Should have learned to rope and ride. <laughs> feel like that a lot <laughs> sometimes especially after this week boy what a week it was I was uh, kind of in charge but uh, the girl that is normally in charge will be back uh, Monday yep so yeah I'm looking forward to that see I'm okay at doing stuff I can I can you know as long as it's just like a straight forward order, like I can start IVs, I'll do x-rays, CAT scans, pretty much anything. But when I'm in charge and people come to me with questions and, you know, quote unquote fires to put out, I'm, I'm not a good firefighter. I don't, I don't like putting fires out because that means, you know, I got to make decisions and then, you know. Nope. Alright, that field is done. So we got that one planted. Alright, moving day. So I'm going to go ahead and drive this tractor north here. And we can move. We're all clear to move. Here's another farm that we'll get at some point. I think this one's a little more expensive, though. So we'll uh, we'll look into this one. So yeah, I think that's where you put the hay, straw, and silage in. And I'm assuming that makes TMR. That's usually the recipe. This farm is a little ways up the road here, but uh, you can kind of see it out yonder there across the field. It's at the very northern border of the map. In one of these fields, I 
think it's the next one over right over there. It has soybeans in it, so I'm kind of interested in that one. I'm back. Welcome back. So I'm driving the case up here. I'm going to go tear down our tent. And, uh, see about putting you, something else up here. Are you, uh, going to want to keep all four of these barns or? Because I believe we can delete them. The big barns. Mmm, can we though? They're not lighting up. Oh yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We do have the, um... Uh, we do have that pack now. So like we could put the same barns back in if we wanted to. See, this would be a great place for, like, to park sugar beet harvesters, like the big ones. Because you got plenty of room in both sheds. Do we need to put up anything else in their place, though? Well, I didn't know if you want to put up, like, a silo or... Well, if silo. we if we do a silo, let's see what all we got here. Let me go. I'm gonna go into this mode so I can kind of look around. Um, if we did a silo, because we're probably definitely gonna have to have a silo. How far out do these robots go? Do they come out here in the yard? They don't come out that far, but they, uh... Hold on, let me run over there and show you about how far they come out. I see you running. <laughs> about where I'm at right here. So about where the concrete meets the gravel Yeah, land. Yeah, there's a... Okay, so we've got... I We've got enough room, I think, on either side of these, maybe, to put it, or... Maybe here. Maybe right out in here somewhere. We could put them right here and do like a drive through right here. Well, that one area that's right there by the shop, that's... Yeah, that's where I'm at now. Where, yeah, that's about where your house would be. That's where you kind of made that, if you look at it. Yeah. But, I mean, that would work. We could put the silos there, and then we could park our trailer out back behind the silo, or even in, maybe in between these sheds. I don't know. We'll see. Let me go back. I'm going to go back to the other farm and tear down the, um, the tent. And then we'll bring our... We'll figure out what we want to put up there. Because we're kind of graduating up in steps. So this is our tent that we've been sleeping in, guys. We, this is our, what we put up, we were hobos on the rails, we came in and we put up this tent, you know, but it's time to say goodbye to the tent, because we're moving on up, we're, 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 uh, wow, we only got $243 back on the tent, so, moving to the east side, moving on up, <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to get that, to the, I'm old enough, <laughs> to the east side, to a deluxe farmhouse. Uh, it's not in the sky. What rhymes with east side? Um, 
It's going to be farm related. I don't know. We'll think about it. <laughs> uh, let me come back up there. Uh, let's see. Okay. Farmhouses. Let's see what we got. I'll just start at the front. I kind of like the trailer. I think that would be a nice one to step up to. These cabins and stuff. No, I'm not doing the bus, guys. I just I don't want tetanus or some other kind of disease from cutting my arm on the door that's got a little pointy sharp object hanging out on it or something. Uh, and it needs to be something kind of small. You don't want to go with our usual? Oh, the garage thing? No, not yet. I think we could do that somewhere else. Um, there is a cabin. There's a little cabin here. Like a little log cabin. I haven't actually looked at this. I probably should, huh? Can you go inside it? I think you can go in. Yeah, there's a bubble inside it there. How about a log cabin? Little, it's a little. Like, oh wow, I can look in it. Okay. Looks like it's got all the necessities. It, uh, the bathroom is not. Um, actually, there's not a bathroom. There's only a bathtub. Yeah, with a curtain. Uh, yeah. Eh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I don't know about that either. Uh, let's see. Well, that would leave. This is the ranch house that what's his face did, but I think that's going to be too much. Yeah, that's kind of expensive, and it's very like, I don't know. We might end up with that. That's kind of that's a really nice thing to have. Say so we just go with the trailer for now. Just graduate up to the trailer because the trailer we can put anywhere. We could even put the trailer in between these uh, buildings down here. Oh well, yeah, in between the sh uh, sheds. Yep, we can put it right here. Let me turn my snap on. Yeah, we could put it right here, right up against the. Uh, The sheds here. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or you know what? We could put this. I think this is small enough to fit. We could put it like right beside the shop. Yeah, we can just put it right back here. Get it close as I want it here. There we go. Go look at this. Then we can put a silo in right here. Yeah, you can't go in this because this is a Giants made thing, but I mean, it's it's our trailer, so you can sleep here. Uh, let's see, and it looks like... I don't know if that's what kind of door that is or what, but... I think it's it's at least two bedrooms, so you got your own bedroom now, old man. <laughs> cool. Alright, let's go bring stuff up here. Just the farm equipment. All the all of the uh sawmill stuff we'll leave down there. Alright, I'm just gonna grab random stuff. Moving day. Need to bail some hay. Speaking of, when is that field ready? It's not dark green yet. But it is fully fertilized. Should be blooming out into the little yellow flowers before too long. Now, this is not our new main farm. This is just a, it's kind of a step up. 
it's kind of a promotion from what we had. We had a we had that little tiny farm over there with just that one big shed and a shop and a little shed. This one has four big sheds, two bale sheds, and two cow sheds, two cow barns. So and a shop. So we're we're kind of graduating up. You know, we were living in a tent. Now we now we've got a trailer. So now we are, what are we, officially white trash now, old man, now that we've moved up from a tent to a trailer? Yeah. We graduated from something. What? I mean, if we're white trash now, what were we? Hobos. Hobos, okay. So we're not hobos. So we've, we've graduated from hobos to white trash. <laughs> Got a trailer. <laughs> if a tornado comes, we... That's what they should put in the game. They should put storm shelters in the game. So if a tornado comes, if they do dynamic weather in the next game, you can go down to your storm shelter, open the door, and go down in it, and then come back out. And if the tornado's taking your trailer, you got to buy a new trailer or something. That'd be great. Somebody could mod that in. I know there's some talented modders out there. Somebody could mod in like an F3 tornado to come around and suck our trailer up into it, and then we have to buy a new trailer. Like that tractor, huh? Really like this tractor. <laughs> I don't know. It's slow. It's only it only goes twenty two miles an hour, but it works. All right, I'm just gonna start putting implements in this second shit. I think here. You don't like tornadoes? No. Well, it'd be simulated. It'd be, it's not real. You know, it's just farming simulator. Tornado. I like to see him just put lightning in. I want to see lightning. I want to see the clouds, like, build in the sky, like, over in the west or something. And then it'd be like, yep. Looks like rain. I reckon we better try to get this corn in the ground or something. You know, that'd be cool. You know, be able to see the clouds build up and get real dark. and Well, first get real white and puffy, you know. Like cumulus clouds, like it's building up, and then it start to get grayer and grayer and darker and darker, and then eventually, you know, that as long be as it cool. don't, as long as it don't turn green, yep, and greenish. Ooh, you know what? We need a pressure washer. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Let me put one in here somewhere. I'm gonna put it in the same spot, I think. Be kind of shop. Yep, just universal. Uh, let's see. Ooh, turn it that way. Right under that window. I think that's kind of where we had the other one. There we go. Because these planters, they are dirty. Yeah, well, yeah, I think it would be cool. You know, if, you know, they had hail in Farming Simulator 15, right? I mean, it kind of looked like snow, but it they called it hail. So if you leave your equipment out, and you and mind you, you could go into settings and turn this stuff off if you wanted to. It'd be like snow. You can go into settings and turn snow off. But they could bring hail back in, and if you leave your equipment outside and there's a forecast for hail and maybe damaging winds... Uh, then you that would be like a stipulation for you to park your equipment inside a barn or a shop or garage or whatever. That one's actually not that dirty. What that is. Is it cleaning? Is there a trick to cleaning these planters? It takes a while. Does it? Yeah, it takes a couple minutes. Couple minutes? Wow. Yeah. I watched it last night and was like, oh my, come on, let's go. Yeah. And I think they can improve the snow too, because right now you can drive on the snow. And that doesn't, it's like, why do we need a snowplow or a snowblower? 
there's no reason to really have it because you can drive on it. Not, but but if they took it a step further and they made it to where snow affected the steering and snow affected the braking. I mean, it kind of affects the braking now, but really make it affect the steering, really make it affect the braking, you know, make it affect the speed, you know, a little bit, then I think there would be an incentive to have a plow. Are you serious about the two minutes? I it, Look at it. <laughs> it does not look like it's getting clean at all. No, it no. Do I need to be, like, more here? Uh, I know okay, it. that's it. Oh, no, that's it, old man. You got to be more back here. Because, see, now it's I can see it disappearing. Okay. Remember where it used to be, like, if you bit on the name of the tractor or something, it would clean it faster? Wasn't that a thing, in, like, in 15 or I 17? know. I know at first, like, on 15, you had to put the tip of the pressure washer inside the weight. For it to clean the weight. All right, well we got it clean now, so I know how to clean the other one. I'm gonna try to put these in order here. So I'm gonna put the plows up front, the cultivator in the middle, and then the planters back here in the back. Can't see. Whoop. Probably need to get a second cultivator too at some point. Well, we also are gonna have to put down a silage bunk. Yes. Cause we're gonna chop some of that corn. Uh oh, that's already hooked up to that. Hang on, let me. Alright, I'm gonna try this on this one and see if it makes a difference. This engine off. Oh yeah, the drive-through wash things. John has that Insta wash thing where he can just drive along and hit it, and then every time I hear it on his stream, I'm like, "What is that sound?" And then I remember it's the the washing thing. He just presses a bus button and it insta washes. OCD means the equipment must be parked straight. Yes, Trichy. Well, I mean, neatness is next to, you know, having a nice farm, so. Alright, I'm going to start back where I was on this other one. Yeah, no. Right back here where the blue, where kind of on the side where you can see the tank, like the liquid tank, that's where you need to aim it. And it's clean. So that makes sense. Yeah. It's funny because I was pointing it right at it. And it wasn't cleaning. Are we going to be on John's Bell Challenge on his map? I don't know. If he requests our expertise, we might go. We might go over and help him out. We got to get back on ours and get ours done. We've got. We're up to 74, 75,000, something like that. Seventy-five thousand. I'd say you know since I missed the last two streams last Saturday and Sunday, we went back here Wednesday. Um, I would say maybe this Wednesday go back and do that, get that done. Been having so much fun here. I'm really enjoying this new map. This is a great map. I love the the flatness of it, just the makeup of the map, you know, and the size of it. You know, it's nice to have a 4x map that, you know, it feels it feels really good. It feels really big. The deer run out in front of you like in real life. <laughs> I just had a couple of deer run out in front of me. Oh, it's a box you set. Okay. Uh, help. What'd you do? Wrecked. Uh oh. Well, I uh, where where are you at? Oh, I'm and coming. It, I see you. It in the ditch. <laughs> I said I see you, but I don't. 
Uh, you're on the map. I'm in the big ditch. Yeah, you did. All I see is a wheel sticking up out of the ditch. <laughs> That's all I see is tires sticking up in the air. Oh, you're in a big, big ditch. Oh, yeah, I'm in the big, big ditch. Oh. It's too bad I don't have my arms. Whoop. Yeah, these di these ditches are real. <laughs> wow. <laughs> don't, I thought I was going to have to go get a tow chain there for a second. Don't take that turn at full speed. <laughs> so is this the canola? This is the canola. This is the field we're looking at buying. That would be a great hay field. We can bale up, yeah. bale it up, and the bale storage barns are like right there. We can afford that right now, can't we? What is that field seventeen? It's one hundred and thirty-three. I say we pull the trigger. That way we'll have it when it's ready to harvest. Ouch. Yeah, but now we can get more money on a loan. True. Where are no. you going, Matt? Down to the farm? Oh, I passed it, didn't I? <laughs> oh, God. You... Oh. <laughs> I Did you wreck? I'm in a ditch. Hang on. Oh, oh. If you angle it just right. There we go. I'm good. went shopping and <laughs> yep so you got you said you said we could take out more loan and I was like ooh <laughs> yeah. yeah we can take out more loan and uh, I'd say probably I think we're good on tractors we've got a lot of tractors until we get ready to get something maybe bigger uh, probably land yeah, I would say more land. I, I tell you the truth, Matt. There's that uh, silo down here at this uh, homestead down here. I say we keep it and just run everything to that. Then run everything, everything to that for now. Yeah, for now. Yeah, because we. I mean, with the land that we have, we're not going to have. I think this one holds five million, if I remember right. I'll have to double check. You know what we should have done, old man? Should have brought them flatbeds up here with them trucks and hauled all this stuff. Want to put? I am gonna have to get some tanks for up here. I think at some point. Yeah, I think we are. Cause that would make it quicker. You know, every every farm that we have should have those those tanks, like for lime, for fertilizer, for liquid fert, for seed gas, you know, fuel, diesel, whatever. Alright, so we own that field. It should be ready to go. Oh, wow, that took a second to save. There's no weeds in it. It's fully fertilized. Doesn't need plowing. Doesn't need lime. This is the one we just bought right here, so we'll be able to harvest some canola. 
I say after we get all this equipment moved, we should probably sleep, I guess. Since everything's planted now and maybe sell our soybeans. Make a little more money there. Buy more land. Buy more land, yep. Maybe, uh, you know, when we click over into the next month. Oh, deer. Why are these deer running right out in front of me? Um, probably, I kind of want to pick up some of them soybean fields down south once we get them. You know, if we get more contracts on them, that'd be great. But right now, their their first states, I think, is uh, one. Well, actually, no, they are double farted, except for 90. Hmm. Whoa, nope, this is not, nope, nope, that's not where I'm supposed to turn. Yeah, right now, uh, contracts aren't that great. Are there contracts? They're just one, one fertilizer oh. contract. Yep. But uh, fields, uh, let's see, what? I probably shouldn't do this while I'm driving. Uh, fields 98 and 106 are fully fertilized now. And they were only in, they were, the only reason I didn't get them, they were only one stage, but now they're, they're now they're ready, ready to go. So, maybe we should go ahead and pick them up. Whoop, whoop. Stay straight. Okay. And then I might park them somewhere else. There's our baler. It needs it worse. Yeah, that's why I put it there. Dude, we could even wash our house with so close to the pressure washer. And then the plows go in front of the cultivator. Okay. Is it cleaning? Yes, it is. Same side as the cultivator or the opposite side? Same side as the cultivator, just on the north side of the cultivator. So yeah, right up there. Okay. How fast do you go? 22. 22, that's it? Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. What's left up there? Just the plow and the harvester, right? The plow, the lime spreader, the harvester. Okay. And I think that's it. We got our straw bales down there. But honestly, if he brings out that other thing, we may sell those two bale barns there and then put in some, Oops. those ones that do the, like the new thing. I know it's not a new thing for PC players, but at least the console players have that option now where they can do the the bail things. Well, you know the hub on this thing looks kind of warped. It does. 
Not so much on, well, maybe a little bit on this side. Is that normal? Starting to think I might have hit it on a tree or something. Looks kind of oval shaped. Yeah, in the future, when we get these fields, we'll have to take that highway on the north side up there and go down to this highway over here to get to this farm. We won't have this little field road to go down. Yeah. Because I have a feeling we'll probably merge these together. Let's see, lime spreader, plow, and harvester. That looks like it, so... Oh, and then we got the gas, we got the fuel tanker. We'll have to come get later, too. Yeah, but I also got a feeling that the uh, sheds oh. and everything might be torn down and field expanded. Have what? The barns tear, tore down and the You think so? Uh, think we'll tear down I, these barns? I, I <laughs> extra extra uh, fieldage? Yeah. yeah maybe. I don't know. I kind of like having the little satellite farms out here. Tried to put the new bell barn with storage on this map. Put it, said it couldn't load the mod. Was it his fuzzy or was it the in the one from Giants? Cause his, I don't know, maybe you're, maybe you got an early release of it and it's just not uh, working right or ready or something. If it was the end game one, then that's a problem. Whee. Uh, are you talking about this one? about that one this is the one from Giants and you're right old man that trigger does sit in there inside the barn a little bit yeah well remember the patch came out too so yes the one on the new map released new map on the 16th oh did he put that bail barn in there the auto load bail barn I'm guessing he's talking about like the mod hub maps. His barn in the map, okay. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, it you mean the one from the pack? Are you mean are you talking about like this bell barn here from the pack? Are you talking about the individual bell barn that loads up that has the auto load because these don't these are just the standard bell barns these don't have the the trigger because he hasn't released those uh those uh, auto what do you call it auto load bell barns or there's a bell there's a bell barn and i don't know if his does pellets or not but giants one that giants came out with does pellets too What were you saying, I win? I was going to say if it was a, uh, his mod, it could be a mod conflict. Could be. But if it's the one from Giants, that, that's... Yeah, there's a problem there, then, if it's one from Giants. Here, I'm going to put this up front. Maybe...
Whoa. Starting to wish I had parked these at an angle. <laughs> Alright, so just the harvester now. Yeah, he must be he must be talking about the uh, the pack. Because he hasn't released the auto load one yet. Uh let's see. What would those those be under sheds, wouldn't they? Yeah, so here's his pack right there. It's basically this one uh, through this one. So these are this is these are the the buildings from his pack. It's not the um, if you look in the building silos, there's an auto. You're talking about this one, right? This one. Let me wait for him to see it. This isn't his. This is Giants. Yeah, he says, no, he's not talking about this one. There's not another one in here. Yeah, he hasn't... You're talking about Tyler Farms Auto Load Barn. He hasn't released that yet. That's the one we're talking about. This is the only auto load barn that 